patients with Parkinson's disease really you know, struggle with a number of different symptoms. And those include their physical symptoms, which is, you know, problems with their mobility and tremor and stiffness and problems walking and with their balance. And in addition to that, when a patient with Parkinson's disease has depression, they really suffer from um, having a very, very low mood. They can't enjoy things. They have problems sleeping. They may have difficulty with concentrating. Their appetite can be affected. And really, their whole appreciation of life can change, and all of their symptoms can actually seem worse. So patients you know, who are depressed have really a different outlook and a different ability to um, really cope with their illness. And one thing that I've noticed is that when that depression is treated, all of a sudden, everything else becomes more manageable. One of the things that I began to notice was that you know, some patients would have very similar physical symptoms, so their limitation in mobility was very similar, their degree of tremor was similar, um, but yet some patients seem to be suffering more. Um, they seem to, when you're with somebody who has depression, you often almost empathize and you really do all of a sudden start to feel kind of somewhat low and, you know, a little hopeless and you are, uh, I think, all of a sudden then aware of this is depression, and this is something actually that we didn't realize happened so commonly among patients with Parkinson's disease. And I started to see it again and again and again, that patients would have a very low mood, and it didn't necessarily correlate with the degree to which they were disabled. And so we would ask, I would ask patients a little bit more about it. I'd say, you know, tell me about, you know, your mood and how you feel. And they'd say, well, I just, I really can't enjoy things. I just, I don't know, I feel, I feel empty. And then we'd talk a little bit more. Are they having problems with sleep and problems with the appetite? They can't really concentrate. And it really started to coalesce that, patients were suffering from depression. And that this wasn't just that they were upset about having Parkinson's disease. This was a clinical syndrome of depression. And this is something that we've seen in patients who don't have Parkinson's disease, but we were seeing it more frequently in patients who have Parkinson's disease, more frequently than in patients who have comparable levels of disability and other kind of chronic disorders. And then we came to realize that this depression is actually part of the underlying condition, that the changes in the brain that cause problems with movement in patients with Parkinson's disease were also causing problems with their mood. Patients' quality of life in Parkinson's disease is affected more by depression than from their physical symptoms. So depression is common in patients with Parkinson's disease. We know that it's part of the underlying disease process. We know that it is the thing that is the most important factor negatively affecting their quality of life. And now something else that we realize is that it's treatable. Patients with Parkinson's disease who have depression can receive treatment and that can alleviate suffering. And that's really important when you're looking at an illness for which right now anyway, there's no cure and there's nothing that we know of that can slow disease progression.